Greetings, everyone. All of you UCMers, we want to welcome you again for our final Daily Essentials for Quarantine. Most of you already know that this will be our last one, and we are transitioning to what we are calling Midweek Essentials. Every Wednesday, Midweek Essentials will include a short devotion and a song and a once a month communion, and it's really meant to replace our Midweek a service that we've had for many years at UCM. So we hope that you will tune in to our midweek services. And if, if you didn't know already, but today is 105 days of quarantine. Can you believe it? And when I did our first devotion in the Essential series back on March 20th, I thought it would probably, you know, we would probably do 15, maybe 20, maybe 25 but today we are completing our series with a total of 72 devotions that have been published over these 105 days. We have had dozens of participants from UCM who have shared the scriptures, they've shared their personal experiences, they've shared truths that have enriched our lives over the last couple of months. And we're so grateful for each one of them who participated and we thank them for speaking to us and encouraging us and praying for us. And we also thank the team that faithfully worked on putting these devotions together every single day of the week. They worked diligently to bring them to you. And while we're moving out of this phase of UCM's history with the, the daily essentials, we hope that you will continue to tune in to the midweek essentials series starting this Wednesday. But I wanted to share with you one last verse together in this uh, uh, Daily Essentials that I thought was very relevant to where we are at as, as a community of faith here in Manila. And it comes from Philippians chapter 1, verse 3. Paul writes this to the Philippian church. He says, I thank my God in all my remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all making my prayer with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. He starts off and he says, I thank my God for you. Made me think about this last week that uh, my family and I, we celebrated our first year from our arrival to Manila. Happened a year ago this last week. And let me tell you, our first year is certainly not the way that I envisioned my first year with all of the challenges and with all of the difficulties. Who could have possibly imagined that year number one would have been this way? I think of what I like to have had accomplished in this year. I would have loved to have been able to spend more time with each of you. I would have loved to have been able to see you more in church and, and been a part of more of these special events that UCM is known for. I would have loved to have interacted, would have loved to have sang more with you, laughed, prayed, hugged a few more people, enjoyed you more. Out of the 365 days of my first year, 105 of them, I really haven't seen a whole lot of you. But that made me think of the Apostle Paul. You know, he grew to love the Philippian church. He, he was part in founding the, the Philippian church and he had a great affection for the Philippian church. But then he had to go and he wasn't able to be with them. In fact, as he's writing this, he's writing it from a prison cell in, in, in most people think in Rome. But as he thought back of the memories that he had with the Philippians... He says, I always thank God for them every time I think about them. Because of why? The joy and the partnership of the gospel. Oh, he would sit, I can see him sitting in his cell there thinking, ah, oh, remember the times I shared the gospel with them and, and George received the gospel and Sarah received the gospel and, and Pete received the gospel and, and all these different people. I, I remember when they received the gospel and then he, he, he thinks back to the time that they would sit and they were learning together the times that they prayed together. And he, he thought about all that the, the, the Philippian church was doing for the gospel of, of Jesus Christ and the mission of Jesus Christ. And, and every time he thought about that, just the fond thoughts flooded his mind. And really that's what binds people together quite powerfully is when we're engaged in the mission of Christ into the world. And so he says, you, you know, every time I think of you, just fond thoughts come across my head. 
And I got to tell you, I share that same sentiment. I think God for you since the first time we met, as Paul writes. I, I, I thank God for you the first time we met, for the first time we met. I thank God that we were brought here. I thank God that we are all growing together even through these challenging times. I thank God for the work that you are doing for the cause of Christ online, in your groups, and, and as individuals that you are doing right now to advance the gospel. I thank God for the community that he has placed us in, that has been faithful to give to the work of UCM while also giving to the ministries and, and our community and the needs that are in our community. I thank God for the dozens of people who sustained us for these 105 days thus far with devotions. There are too many things that we can give thanks for, but I give thanks. And listen, you should too when it comes to thinking about those who you have partnered with in the gospel at UCM through these many years that UCM has been here. From the very first day, Paul says, from the very first day I met until now. Can you, can you picture the very first day you met the UCMers? That first person, the first person that you prayed with at UCM. The first person that uh, you, you, you went to an SDG group with. The first person that called you aside and listened to you as you had to unload some of your problems. The first person who cried with you at UCM. Can you go back maybe in this time and say, Lord, I thank God for that person. Maybe you even call them up and say, I thank God for you from the, since the first day that we met. Listen, I'm not sure when we're going to be able to come together as a larger community of faith again. The situation is constantly changing and for all I know, it might be another 105 days. But we can still give thanks for the partnership in the gospel that remains. And that partnership is still impacting lives all around the globe because of our partnership, because of your partnership that we have in the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we can give thanks for one another in the body of Christ that he has called us together for such a time as this to go through it together and to live out his kingdom in a COVID world. We, we, we can live out the kingdom in a COVID world. That's the partnership that we have in the gospel as we encourage one another to kingdom living in this world. And so this morning for our last daily essentials, may we give thanks to the Lord for the partnership in the gospel that he has established at UCM, not starting 105 days ago from quarantine, but 105 years ago until now. And may we give thanks in what he will be doing, he is doing now and what he will be doing in the days to come. UCM, I thank God for you. Let's pray. Lord, we do thank you for this partnership in the gospel. Thank you for this moment in history that you have ordained long before any of us were even born, Lord. And I thank you that you have given us a great partnership here with so many people that can walk through this time together and encourage one another and think about the wonderful things that you have done through them in this partnership of the gospel. God, lead us through the rest of these days and, and lead us into the future. And let this partnership and this bond grow and become more effective in the days to come. Lord, we thank you for the daily devotions. We thank you for how it has nourished our lives. And we pray, Lord, that we can continue to nourish one another in the days to come. In your name, amen. God bless UCM and have a great week.